Hi guys, how are you doing? So today's pick a card reading is what are they trying to hide? So we've got uh, a selection of four cards, uh, four groups here. Please feel free to pause the video if you are trying to make a selection um, and then we will get on with today's reading. If you'd like a private reading with me, sorry, it's £20 for 20 minutes and you get your reading in 24 hours. So let's get on with today's reading. Hi number ones, how are you doing? Okay, so we are looking at um, what they're trying to hide. I'm reading it intuitively. I've got two oracle cards, two rider weight. What they're trying to hide, or what they're not, you know, they're hiding, trying to hide from you or not letting you see, is what's really happening to them. They are feeling um the seven of swords is kind of like hiding, <laughs> hiding things. So it's like they're definitely trying to hide something. They're not just hiding it unconsciously. They really are consciously trying to hide from you uh, what they're going through. But it is actually, they're going through some stuff. They're having a difficult time. Um, they're trying to hide how hard things are for them. They really feel very vulnerable. That's the word that came up the minute I turned these cards over. They feel extremely vulnerable. They feel like they are at the bottom of the wheel. You know, they are not... They don't feel great, things aren't going well for them, that's how they feel. However, the truth of the matter is, is that this is destiny calling. You know, so in actual fact, it is a good thing because the suffering is causing spiritual growth. Okay, so it's a good thing for them, but they're trying to hide this from you. They're not trying to hide the spiritual growth. They might not even know it is spiritual growth. They just know that they're going through a lot of suffering. This five of coins is like a pilgrimage. You know, they feel cast out, they feel out on their own, they feel isolated. Even if they are with someone or in a partnership or they're surrounded by people, they feel isolated, they feel lonely, they feel um, rejected. Um, they're really suffering, they're finding it hard. The reality is things aren't as bad as they think, things can recover and, and as I said, in actual fact, this is all causing, this is causing them a tremendous amount of spiritual growth. So it's a very good thing what's happening to them. And this, whatever situation they're going through, they're going through something difficult. It may only be mental, by the way. It doesn't have to be an actual physically difficult situation. Although I think a lot of people who've chosen this, you know, they are going through something difficult. But either way, it is causing them spiritual growth. And it was somewhat predestined. You know, as in they needed to learn this lesson, they needed to, you know, it's just one of the many challenges on the road of life. Yeah? Thank you so much, number ones. I will see you on a private reading or on, um, or on tomorrow's reading. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't talk. Hi, number twos. How are you doing? So here we go. This is what they're trying to hide. Um, I'm reading this intuitively, just in case you were wondering. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because these butterfly cards I'm really reading intuitively. Okay, so what they're trying to hide, they're trying to hide how abundant they feel. Now, I don't know why. I suspect it's because of this Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is someone who's quite vulnerable, who emotionally feels very young. You have made this person feel like a small child. They feel, you know, vulnerable. Um, they're kind of, you could very well be the empress. They kind of feel in awe of you. They feel like they're looking up to you. They feel almost intimidated by you because they feel so overwhelmed. There's this sense that their heart has opened up. The finances card is about abundance. They feel there's so much abundance. There's so much heart opening. It's very overwhelming for them. They feel very vulnerable and they're trying to hide this from you. Um, they may well be ha trying to hide from you just how magnificent they think you are, whether you're male or female. They're seeing you as this empress. This is the great receiver. You know, she is. Um, so whether you're male or female doesn't matter. But you are abundant. You are um, uh, full of nurture, love. And, and you're just, you know, you're just to them just absolutely astonishing. And this is kind of the energy and they just kind of feel like overwhelmed and young and 
you know, almost a bit silly, you know, they feel, they're trying to kind of keep on this face, this front, <laughs> but actually, they're just completely, like, smitten and overwhelmed. Um, uh, if you if you're watching this because things are going wrong, or that it's a painful situation, and it doesn't feel all lovey-dovey, don't, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be all lovey-dovey, it might well be that they are just totally overwhelmed by their own feelings, how they may have put you on a pedestal there's a sense that this heart opening this abundance for some people this is extremely overwhelming and it can be very frightening what it's coming across as it just makes them feel vulnerable and they feel it it makes them uh, kind of feel needy but also be a uh, feel afraid but the point here is that for some people they can act out when they feel um needy you know that it, and it, feeling that vulnerable can make some people quite scared so um if your person is acting um in a way that you wouldn't necessarily resonate with this reading just look a little bit further into it don't take the surface explanation um it may well be that they are afraid and so that's why they're being mean or being cold because actually they feel like the page of cups they feel vulnerable they feel needy they feel small yeah Thank you so much, number twos. I'll see you on tomorrow's reading or on a private reading in the meantime. Hi, number threes. How are you doing? So, let's have a look. This is, um, what are they trying to hide? That's not reversed. I saw that come out. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, wow, they are trying to hide something. So what are they trying to hide? They're trying to hide that they're trying to hide something. They are really hiding something. Ace of Swords is about the truth coming out. Seven of Swords, deception. The moon, all is not what it seems. Body changes. Like this is like literally like shape shifting. This person is being slippery. So if you are looking for confirmation that your person is hiding something, you are right there's something's been hidden here i mean obviously nine out of ten times one of you you know at one in ten people watching this you it won't be the case because that's the reality of intuitive readings i'm sure you don't need me to tell you that um they're not always accurate of course not that's the mystery and the wonder of life um but majority of you watching this you know that's they're up to something it doesn't have to be nasty or malicious it doesn't have to have a negative effect on you but you're right they are up to something however I do feel like the truth will come out because the ace of swords is about truth real uh, revelation it's always oh, a little bit of a difficult energy the ace of swords because it can be a bit cutting it can be a bit overwhelming it can be a bit hard but the reality will come out the truth will come out triumphant success you will have a revelation you will have a new beginning as a result of this information. Yeah? So this is good. Uh, but um, for those of you who are saying, yes, Kat, I do feel like my person is, there's something they're not telling me or they're hiding something from me, but what is it? You know, that's the whole point. You've said, the title of this video is, what are they hiding? And now you're just saying, well, they're hiding something. Right, the reason I can't say any more than that is because it, there are going to be many reasons. They're just saying, you're right. There is, they are hiding something. But what they're telling me to tell you is the moon is all about being intuitive. It's that divine feminine, the mystical element of listening to your intuition. So they're saying you already know or you've got a pretty good idea what they're not telling you the truth about. So listen to your intuition. Yet yeah, don't get dragged into your fear. Because there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of sword energy. There's a lot of thought thoughts going on. Don't get dragged into the drama. Even if they are lying to you and they're really badly lying to you. You know, the world's not going to end. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic about it. But be intuitive. Yeah, because then you can um, maybe have that conversation. Bring things out in the open. Because generally when people are being this sneaky and lying or hiding things it's only out of fear it's only because they're afraid of what might happen if you know the full extent of it often it comes from a very immature sort of innocent place even if they're not acting immature and innocently 
you know it comes from a lack of ability to cope with the situation so they just take the easy way out which is just to kind of lie or to hide something it often comes from a, a very childlike place or a very fearful place so it's not something you need to get worried about or intimidated by you need to step up and be this ace of swords you need to cut through the nonsense find out what's going on and then sort it which you can do and that's what this new start is about you can do it thank you so much number threes i'll see you on tomorrow's reading or on a private reading in the meantime Hi number fours, how are you doing? I hope you're really well. So here we go. So this is, what are they trying to hide? <laughs> okay. Right, what they're trying to hide is that they are, I feel that they are putting off making a decision. The sacrifice card is like, this delay i mean the sacrifice card is not a bad card because this is about someone becoming more intuitive this is about someone um kind of having to step back um and let you like go with the flow let the universe di guide them and direct them but i actually see this as more literal in that you know the hanged man is just ha hanging there he can't do anything about it this card calls it sacrifice it's like they're sacrificing an opportunity um, the judgment card is about an opportunity coming forwards, the chance to have a rebirth, a change, an opportunity to move forwards, but I don't, they're not. So what they're trying to hide is that yes, you've probably given them an opportunity or there's been an opportunity around them um, and that they are not making the decision they're just stepping back. They're just letting it move by. They're not stepping forwards. They're not taking the opportunity. Um, the two of wands says that if this is regarding a relationship, I mean, most things are regarding a relationship in some way, shape or form. But what I meant more was if this is about a romantic relationship, there is a chance for partnership here in, of any sort, to be honest. So if this question of like what are they hiding if this is to do with working with someone coming together with someone in a relationship you know moving towards each other again having communication something like that there is possibility in the future but it's not happening now so if you are waiting for your person to make a decision about coming towards you working with you taking things to the next level you may feel that there's been a great opportunity offered recently and there probably has but they're not taking that option. The majority of them are not. And they're trying to kind of avoid telling you that or trying to avoid facing that or trying to avoid bringing that and making that a point that they're not going to make this decision. It's like they're just not making the decision. They're unable to make the decision. And I, the reason they're trying to avoid this is because the judgment card says that they've been offered something really great, an opportunity once given that can't be uh, ignored something that you feel you must act on and I feel like you think they should have acted on this you know it's like well it's obvious you should be moving but they're not but there is possibility that they will move in the future this is what this two of wands is about so at the minute it's more like the planning stage they're deciding what to do they're thinking about how to you know it's like that journey from the ace of wands to the two of wands they had the inspiration now it's like okay well how am i going to get there how are we going to move forwards so they're still contemplating which i know for some of you is going to be extremely frustrating slash annoying which is why they're trying to hide it <laughs> okay guys so much love to you i will speak to you on tomorrow's reading or on a private reading in the meantime see you later